Hey guys, today we're going to take a look at how you set up your Apple developer account. Okay, so I searched Apple developer uh, on Google and uh, you'll see it's the third one here, Apple uh, developer. It's developer.apple.com. Click on it. Um, you're going to come over here to account and then you're going to create Apple ID. And then we'll put, we'll fill the information in here. Okay. Uh, your email address. Okay. Now I'm just finishing filling out the security questions. You're going to see some sec security questions here and then um, uh, uh, capture code. You have to finish filling that out and hit continue. I'm going to do that right now. Hang on. Okay, so I've completed filling out the information on that page. Uh, bringing me to this page where it's giving me asking me for a code. The code was emailed to the address that I've uh, entered here, and I've got that code already. So it's 763 483. Hit continue. And I can't, can't be created. Okay, so I put the, uh, the code in, and I was able to get my Apple ID created. I'm on a PC, I'm not on a Mac or on a device. Obviously, you can see that. I've got my Apple ID created. So that was the first step in creating my developer account. You've got your Apple ID created. Let's go to part two. So now I'm coming back over to the Google, going back to Apple developer account, developer.apple.com. I've created a, an account here, so I would go to the account uh, tab up here and read all this stuff. Yep, you gotta check this box. Uh, I'd like to receive emails announcing, no, I don't want any emails. Hit submit, and there, there it is. So now I'm into the developer account. And what you're going to have to do is pay the $99 um, and when you're building your first app. I'm not going to do that today because I don't want to pay. I already have a developer account. Um, you can, from this point on, you can basically um, contact Apple right there with the phone number. They will, they will walk you through it if you want to build your first app. Um, that's all we need. Uh, you're in now. We've created a developer account as well as uh, the Apple ID. Sorry, you, uh, you need to also click on this, join the Apple Developer Program. I think this is where it will, uh, here we go. Yeah, so it's going to say enroll, and it's going to hit you up for the uh, the $99 fee at this point. Uh, I'm going to hit enroll here, okay, um, as an individual or as an organization. Um, start your enrollment, and two-factor authentication must be turned on your, for your Apple ID as to turn on. Signing into your Apple Developer account will, will require both your password and access to your trusted devices. Uh, okay, so to learn more, to, uh, so now you're going to need an Apple develop uh, an Apple device at this point, I believe. Let me check on what this says. Uh, two factor it's an extra layer of security designed to ensure only one kind of person. Okay, how it works. Trusted devices uh, is an iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch with iOS nine or later. So you need to get an iPhone, an iPad, or an iPad pod touch um, and you can borrow one uh, if you don't have an Apple device um, all you need to do is set this up the two-factor authentication it walks you right through it right here okay everything you need to know is right on this screen once you've done that uh, you will be able to uh, apply for your uh, complete your application uh, for your um, developer account and then you'll be prompted to pay the $99 uh, and everything will be hunky-dory so I uh, hope that makes sense. Again, you'll need at some point in this process, you're going to need a um, an Apple device, um, and you can, like I said, if you don't own one, you can borrow one, or you can, if you absolutely have to, go to the Apple Store and uh, create it on, on on an Apple device there, and then you can, you know, enable your account and leave afterwards. But uh, that's just for last ditch effort. But hopefully, this makes sense. Uh, it's pretty easy to do once you've uh, once you got it. And um, thanks for watching.